Good afternoon. Thank you, Professor, for coming into our first uh, uh, special edition of, of uh, interviewing uh, our uh, professors and famous people who would uh, visit uh, uh, IBC. In fact, it's an honor for me uh, to have given this opportunity to uh, find out about the lives of, uh, of uh, our professor here. Um, could you, to start with, could you introduce yourself, Professor? Introduce myself? Yes. Well, introducing, literally, I'm here, right? <laughs> well, I'm, right now I'm the rector of this IBC, and I come from, I'm a European, and I've been studying Buddhism for the most part of my life. I think that's a... That's my introduction. Thank you, Professor. And um, um, you mentioned that uh, uh, you have studied Buddhism uh, through the entire of your life. Uh, could you also share uh, what is uh, your inspiration for, for learning You mean Buddhism? why I did why, it? Why? It's, did well, it's the influence of teachers. So, the influence of good Buddhist teachers. I had two well, I had many good teachers, but especially mainly two. Mm. One was a specialist for Central Asian Buddhism, and he knew Sanskrit very well, and he is the one who is really responsible for my Buddhist side. The other teacher is that he was teaching Chinese painting and also Buddhist Buddhism, Sino-Japanese, let's mm. put it. So those two combined. Uh, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. The, it's their influence, basically. And uh, so I'm doing Sino Japanese Buddhism, but it's Indian origin in Central Asia. So it's the result of my good, two excellent teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, since you're a world renowned uh, professor, why did you choose to uh, come to IBC, which is a small college? Uh, you mean you mean world you? renowned in Pak Tong Chai? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, well, I never pay attention to things <laughs> like that. I uh, I just study and do my own things and see nice people and positive spirits. And in IBC, it's a very positive spirit. <laughs> I, uh, most people are extremely positive. That's what attracts me to this place. It's a. Uh, I've been in other places, of course, so I can compare. Mm -hmm. But you sh should believe me. A very big, internationally famous, very ancient, good university, so-called. Sometimes it's not so nice to be there. Uh, so it is. Actually, it's just individuals, you know, you have a good program and a good infrastructure and all that, but it's the people who make a good place to go, to go to, and uh, that's why I'm here. Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, I think this is the speciality of IBC that, uh, that uh, pe uh, special people get attracted here. It's a small place, but uh, special. Yes, it's a venerable uh, Dhamma Jyoti who mm. first got me to IBC when it was still located in the south of mm. Thailand, in Sadao. Could you tell us more about that? The connection with uh, how it developed, your connection with well, IBC? I knew him for many years already at that time. Mm. First met him in Canada. And, mm. and there. Uh, we do the same things. We do Sarvastivara Buddhism. So he did Dharmapada, I did Udana Varga, he started Abhidharma, Sarvastivara, Abhidharma, I do Sarvastivara. So we actually, without knowing each other, we had already been doing the same things for many years. And then finally we met. And we got along very well. And uh, one day he said, uh, there is IBC, uh, would you care to join? That's what I did, but that's already a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I think IBC was only established one year when I joined wow. in the wow. south, in Sadok. 
So I've been here a long time already. Indeed, and you continued uh, to... Well, yes, there is, uh, because I say that it's, it's a nice place to be. It's a positive spirit to have a... In Thailand, we have the best library, actually. Uh, so, uh, well, I'm sort of proud to say that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know the importance of libraries is decreasing because now we have internet and all that, but still, with, you still need a library, even if you have the internet. It's not the, as important as it used to be mm -hmm. 10 years ago, but I can assure you, if you want to write a good article or a good work, you, have, you still need a library, Absolutely. you still do it. Even though internet helps, we still need a library, and you can do it here. So uh, that's also very positive. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. So, uh, coming back to uh, Professor being the rector of uh, IBC, what visions or aspirations do you have from IBC, for IBC? For the future, you for mean? For the future. We just do what we always do. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, actually, we should just go our own way. Mm. You know, we should not look what others do and then try to fit in and do this. No, let others adapt to us. Mm. This is, we do what we do, which is, uh, of course, Theravada Buddhism, because many of the students are Theravada people. But not only, we have all the traditions. Mm. And uh, we have the Mahayana, we have the Sanskrit, we have, of course, we have the Pali. We have Tibetan, we, we have it all. So in order to open the horizon of students who are trained in a certain tradition, mm -hmm. but in order to open the horizon to have a broader view and knowledge of Buddhism, we, uh, we should just increase that. I'm very happy that we have Sanskrit in Thailand. Not many places where, in not many Theravada countries where you have Sanskrit. Here we do. And uh, Sanskrit Buddhism is the basis for every, all kinds of Buddhism ever since 400 AD. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, excluding Sri Lanka, of course. Mm -hmm. So we just do that. We, we, I, I, I advise we just go our own way, do what we do. We do our study. We, when we study, then we come up with an idea, and then that's what we use in the courses, the teaching, and we people teach the languages and uh, so it's a uh, and we should do, keep doing it we should have monastic people and lay people we should have people in the tradition and we should have people teaching about the tradition you need we need both mm. the, we need the support of the monastics need the support of the scholars and the scholars need the support of the monastics it's a uh, you cannot do without each other. Mm, so this is a very good place where this is all possible. And I think we should not mind what other people say or do. We should just do what we do mm. and try to do it as good as possible. Mm. Which is the uniqueness of uh, IBC, which is why I also... Well, in Thailand, you yes. mean this is a... because it's, it has all the traditions. Mm. So basically, Professor is saying that uh, we should uh, keep it small but uh, broaden the horizon. And well, I don't think I, I don't think size is a real absolutely uh, problem actually, yes. because even the places where everybody wants to go to, they just also have few students. Mm -hmm. I don't take them all. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, we should look at we should just have very good people to teach. Even if, uh, if, we should just have very good people to teach. That's, that's the main thing. If we teach and we mean what we teach, because how can a student be happy if the professor is not happy? <laughs> so we should, we should have happy teachers mm -hmm. who really like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I can tell you I like what I'm doing. So we should, that's what we should do. Mm -hmm. And this will catch on. Well, if it doesn't, it's too bad for the student, you know, because it's the students will miss out. No, we should just do our, our, our own thing and 
big or small is not important. Mm. Uh, I know we live in uh, the 21st century and the first question you always have is how many, how many this, how many that, people want to count uh, and all that, but how do, you ca how do you count quality, you know? It's very difficult to quantify. You, uh, I'm not saying we're the best in the world, but what I'm saying is we we f we feel like we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a this is a true. Um, one last thing. Uh, oh. Would you yes. uh, would you uh, give any advice to the to the to the students or especially me? I must. I'm a new <laughs> student here, PhD uh, doing my PhD. Uh, what advice would you give uh, to the current students or the potential uh, students who may be interested to come to IBC? Advice. Well, we're in a we're in a college. We're in a school. So my advice is work hard. <laughs> yes, that is a. But uh, well, let's let's do it in a relaxed and happy way. You know, it's a, it should not be a burden or a duty or. I have to do this, I have to go there, have this. Of course we have rules and all that, we're in the college, but the, your f individual feeling should be that, well, that you want to do it, that it's nice that you choose to do it, that you're you know, positive. Just always stay positive. Uh, and even if the whole, if many people will say, well, it happened, it happens to everybody, people will say, people are people, so. There is sometimes jealousy and sometimes bad talk and all that. Never mind. Just do your own thing and be happy what you're doing. And that's the only thing. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Thank you.